What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another, yes, FC24 video. So we're going to be looking at the career mode today. Um, this is, to me, going to be something that I am interested in, right? Obviously with Master League not out uh, for eFootball and, you know, no real news on it. Obviously, career mode and offline game modes are always of interest to me. Um, so we are going to give it a good go. I, as, as I've said, you know, full disclaimer, I haven't played a FIFA game properly in years. I tried FIFA 20. I tried FIFA 21. Wasn't for me. The last one I put serious hours into was probably FIFA 15, FIFA 18. So, um, and even at that, you're talking maybe 20 hours max, you know, playing just the lads and whatever. Um, so yeah, I mean, let's get cracking on this, right? We do have the gameplay trailer up here. And we're just going to go through a couple of things. I mean, as usual, lads, I don't really get too caught up in these kind of like, um, you know, how would you say it? Like these kind of buzzwordy or buzz, you know, trailers, um, which are a lot of marketing and, you know, all of this stuff, right? This sort of stuff, right, is, is, is nice. But to me, this isn't really important for, you know, the gameplay and the actual flow of it. Because what ends up happening, especially if you're going to be playing season after season, is you just see the same outdated cutscenes time and time again. Yes, it's nice in the first go, but it's like in any of those games, you know, NBA 2K, uh, WWE, any of those kind of games where it's cutscene, you know, like recycled cutscenes after season to season, and eFootball and PES were the same. Um, they're nice, you know, from trailers and stuff. I do like the Ballon d'Or is back there. Um, that's a nice little touch that they make a big deal out of this. But the question is, lads, right, is are you going to be watching all of this every year? You know, all of these cutscenes, like how, you know, tiring will they get? Now, I must say that I do like these touches, you know, the managers and all that sort of stuff. This stuff is worlds apart from where Master League even was. You know, Master League was very kind of like, uh, I suppose, like, not at this presentation level and it might never get to this presentation level because of the licenses that EAFC is going to have you know it's the same as the FIFA games I do like this stuff the manager careers they talk about this this is your traditional taking on the role of a manager I mean you just pick your manager you pick your squad you pick your you pick whatever manager that you want to pick and obviously it's all the licensed ones have their face scanned and all that selection of them Look, as I said, a lot of this off the pitch stuff is nice if you are going to be playing, you know, maybe 20 hours. But if you're going to be playing a lot of the game, I just genuinely fail to see, you know, a lot of that stuff not being skipped after a while. You know, it's nice in the first season, maybe the second season you get a new sign in and there's a big deal made about it or you win the Ballon d'Or. But personally, for me, in any game that I play, I mean, NBA 2K nearly broke me with that, where you literally had to exit the building to go back in and load another match. And I know that they're kind of working on that for NBA 2K24, where you can literally kind of streamline the experience of just playing games and grinding. Um, and this to me is like, I like the depth of this, that you can go into all the tactics and the formations and see how they actually play out. Uh, and I do like that sort of layout and sort of, you know, variety that you'll be able to get. But, you know, a lot of this stuff is probably not new to FIFA fans that have played the game for a long time. You know, I've dipped in, as I said, and dipped out, but mostly I think I played, you know, last year was a bit of Volta. And then you know, 20, FIFA 18 was when I actually played a bit of online, you know, and mostly just like one-off games. But I do like this kind of stuff. Like anything with depth, if you want to give me depth and give me as much as I possibly can, once it's not repetitive, I do, you know, I am a fan of that sort of stuff. And make it like I I kind of think that there's a there's a nice balance here from based on this trailer of you know non football manager like all consuming taking over your entire life where you're thinking about things all the time um and just you know being able to streamline that but also have as much depth as possible uh so this stuff looks nice to me um obviously I'll probably be more interested in the player career uh or career mode for the player which is quite nice but. I do like this stuff. I mean, let me know in the comments below. Obviously, you've got different things that you're able to train up. You've got different features that you're able to, to balance out with the defense, the midfield, you're able to work on stuff. I mean, let's look. The gameplay to me, I mean, the movement of the gameplay, I still find it very skatey, even just looking at small little clips here. I mean, it's just skatey the way they, like, what is that pass, man? What was that pass there? It's just so weird. Like, look, this pass here, he just like, I don't know, man. I, I just don't understand why they're not able to make an animation system. Like, what is that from, from Dyer there? Um, but look, these are these are things that obviously you just have to get on with it. Uh, if you are going to be giving it a go, it is what it is. You know, obviously some people will like that uh, animation style and that kind of like fluidity. 
Um, some people won't. Now, this reminds me of NBA 2K. I played a lot of NBA 2K, hundreds of hours over the last couple of years. The game kind of lost me this year. I do like these angles and all that. I mean, this just looks very nice presentation-wise. It looks really, really nice here. Um, you've also got like the team talks. A lot of this stuff was in older PES titles as well. Um, you know, PES 2013 was one of my favorite ones that if you signed a really good player, he'd come out in a big fanfare and all that. Um, I do like this stuff that they're talking about. They're basically just talking about, you know, being able to train uh, pre-match reports and match-ready training. Um, and I think it's finding a balance between you know, actually playing the game, man management, and then obviously buying and selling new players. I mean, you want it to be fun, you know, and, and, and to me, that's going to be the big thing because a lot of this stuff is going to be new for me anyway, but it's not going to be new if you've played FIFA relentlessly for the last couple of years. The same way as like new features added to eFootball 24 or whenever it does come will be similar for me because of the PES series that I've grew up with, right? So listen, I do like all this kind of theatrical stuff, but again, I go back to it. How long is it going to be before you're just bashing X, um, you know, to be able to actually get past them, even if you can turn it off or turn it on or leave it on or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I mean, other than that, it's it's pretty much a kind of a, a samey, samey uh, what you'd expect from career mode. My biggest kind of concern, I think, going forward, if I was to play this and play a proper career mode would be the actual gameplay. And I know that that's not the focus of this video that they have here. It's mostly for showing exactly what you can do to set up your squad and you can set up all of these like i like this kind of stuff i mean as as i said this is all extra stuff in training sessions for pre-match it seems to be that you're able to get different boosts and stuff like that um you know and being able to have different play styles coming in we'll talk about play styles in a minute um but i do like all these trainer stuff here i do like all of this little stuff here um where you see all the different trainers i mean it's very 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 similar to pez um and the older pez games when you could kind of like get rewarded in the training mode for it but listen i mean that's just the way the times are man i mean games you know games move on and at the moment we don't have an offline PES mode like Master League to compare. So I do like all of these kind of sideline views as well and being able to be the manager, you know, doing your, your tactics and stuff like that. Um, it is quite nice. Now, the thing that probably interests me most is probably the player career, obviously taking on one player. Um, for PES fans or eFootball fans, hopefully become a legend, you know, takes that slot eventually. Um, but I actually used to always love creating a player and taking on the world. I mean, it was it was really fun. I love become a legend in Pez. It was limited, and as I said, this kind of stuff here, this kind of theatrical presentation stuff. First season is going to be grand. I'll keep repeating myself, but it just depends whether they find a balance of having new kind of like stuff and new variety all the time going um, that you're not just waiting to get to the next match or it's like you sit down and you've got two hour session to play. It's like how long are you actually in the menus before you just get to a game, you know, and get another game out of the way uh, instead of having to go through, you know, cutscene, break, cutscene. I know obviously the next gen power will come into it. Um, and they talk about that in a second with the, the dynamic stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, listen, you've got all of these. If you want to join at the, the end of the season, your requested wages will affect the objectives given by the clubs. Current objectives, wage objectives, your requested weekly wage. I love all of this stuff, man. The more depth that you can get, the better, right? Um, if you want to change teams, renew contract or earn a new contract, you've got like all your objectives there that you want to go through for your career. I do like this stuff. I must say, this is kind of a bit of me, um, and I definitely will be interested in this, in the kind of the journey of your player as you make him. I mean, I'll probably be making um, a player if I do end up getting this. I mean, what do you think? Obviously, I do eFootball content, you know, first and foremost, um, but this is kind of something a little bit different, I suppose, that you can take on, and you can have different kind of, um, different kind of objectives to keep it fresh. And to me, that's sometimes it's nice to play against, you know, the AI, to actually test yourself against the AI. I don't think that like on offline is as important anymore um, for the average consumer. But for somebody like me, who's grown up, literally grown up with PES 5, PES 4, PES 6, a lot of this stuff is probably a little bit, how would you say it? A lot of this stuff is probably a little bit kind of I suppose it's a little bit silly when you think about it, but it's all about just trying to make things as fun as possible to, when you're building up your player instead of it just being an XP system, you know, and the player's skills and the styles probably take over from that where you've got different traits and you've got different tiers that you can go up and different, obviously, you know, personality traits that you can have there with your selection of play style. 
Again, I do like all of this stuff, um, but it just depends how they're going to balance it, you know, because for me, like, I, I just, I think the biggest issue is going to be that, like, all of this stuff will look nice, and the presentation looks nice, the ideas behind it look nice, but, you know, if it's not going to be, obviously, um, into the game where you're actually looking forward to playing the games, then, you know, that's not going to be good, so, um, we will have to see how that goes, I mean, some of the animations look really, really bad, some of the animations look really nice, some of the skating is still there, some of the presentation looks good, um, but obviously some of the other stuff is just, you know, probably not the big step up that people were expecting, um, but yeah, I mean, look, all in all, it's a fairly okay trailer. They talk about dynamic moments available only on PS5, Xbox Series X, and uh, S and PC. Um, and th then all of this stuff as well. I mean, obviously, you've got Player of the Season, you've got the Ballon d'Or, you've got all of that stuff. That is just a trailer re-released re there again. So um, yeah, look, let me know what you guys think. Obviously, it's a bit different. It's just a bit of a my, my reactions on it and my trailers on it. They seem to have gone very kind of cinematic here. It, my biggest concern with this is how fresh it's going to stay you know whether you're just going to be literally 90 percent of what you've seen in this trailer here is going to be skippable like six weeks into the game's life cycle so let me know what you guys think i will be back soon with some more content and let me know if you want to see more of this or if it's a big thumbs down so yeah all right let's talk to you later peace